Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. So another random haul. Uh, I just filmed another one. Uh, one Marvel, one DC. Guess what? This one's gonna be one Marvel, one DC. Let's do. Let's keep the trend and do the DC one first, like I did last time. So from the Fun Con, I got the Martian Manhunter Imperial Palace Pop. Uh, I got this off of Funko, uh, the Funko Shop. Uh, the day after uh, the lottery winners got their pick at it. So this was actually the only thing I got. Um, I did have the Captain America Wolf in there, but it sold out before I could check out. Um, but if you saw the other one, I got that from Amazon. Uh, but yeah, this one came in perfectly fine from Funko. Not a scratch on it whatsoever. Now I will say there was one thing that was giving me pause uh, to getting this pop. Do I have... Where is it? Okay, it's way up there, so I'm not going to get it. But the nor all the other, so there's uh, technically three different um, March of the May Hunter Pops other than this one. There's the OG one, there's a metallic one based on the OG one, then there's one on Just League Unlimited, which is still our only Just League Unlimited Pop Funko. But anyway, all of those have red eyes, which Martian Manhunter usually does. The This one, obviously, you can see has black um not super into that i do wish they were still red eyes because i personally really enjoy it like sometimes it looks creepy like i i admit the holiday ellen generous kind of looks creepy with the blue eyes a little bit you know after people when i first saw it i loved it and then people were saying it was creepy i'm like you i still like it but anyway, i can see why people think it's creepy but i personally really like it when they do get the opportunity to do different color eyes instead of just like uh black or white so i do wish they were still red on this pop but i'm not gonna bitch too much about it so here he is in his uh samurai or not no it's not samurai what is a chinese warrior called i'm not really sure honestly but here is his in chinese armor very very cool looking absolutely love this i predict we'll get a couple more of these uh, for the con in, uh, for New York Comic Con. Um, I know these are based off of an action figure set that came out in 2019. Uh, and I know they had a Green Arrow and I know they had a Nightwing one. So if I had to take a guess, I don't remember a Martian Manhunter one, but I, I don't have any of these pops. I just remember looking at pictures of them. Uh, and I looked them up again also, not too long ago, just to check and make sure I was right. I don't remember seeing a Martian Manhunter one, but here he is. Uh, but yeah, there was a Green Arrow and there was a Nightwing, so I'm really hoping that we get those next. Would be really cool. I'm not getting the entire set, uh, and if those two do come out, um, I'll probably get Green Arrow because the only other Green Arrow I, did I sell my other Green Arrow? I might not have. I think I kept it. It's from Smallville. But I've never seen, hashtag never seen it, I've never seen Smallville. Uh, so I'd rather have an Imperial Palace version of Green Arrow than that one. Uh, also never seen Arrow. <laughs> so I don't have that pop either. But I want a Green Arrow. And I know there's like an OG Green Arrow that's like worth a little bit. But, yeah. <sighs> but if there's Green Arrow, Imperial Palace, I'll get it. Nightwing, I don't know. But there is Martian Manhunter, looks really freaking cool. Love the gold detail on him there again i just wish the eyes were right there the desk is in a weird spot this time i can't because i i know i usually set them right here and they're still in frame so but anyway here is the next one uh from gamestop with this new hideous sticker uh artist deadpool so really freaking cool the only thing i don't like about that if this was black I'd be cool with it. If it was black with white lettering, I'd be fine with it. But this looks like a Target sticker. Or even a... No, it looks like a Michael sticker. Where's... I know I have the Wonder Woman Michaels exclusive somewhere. <clears throat> somewhere. I know it's on the Wonder Woman shelf. But I'm just too lazy to go up and grab it. But anyway... But anyway, so this one comes in clamshell packaging. And again, I, I or... Well, I, and again, I didn't say it. I ordered this off of uh, GameStop's website. So, 
really freaking cool. I've slowed down on the Deadpools. I've sold a lot of my Deadpools, but this one, I mean, come on. Y'all know I do custom stuff. You know, I don't, I don't consider myself a real artist, or at least not a traditional artist, um, because I don't do traditional art, but I had, I had to, <laughs> I just had to get this one. So first off, let's look at his little, uh, easel at this masterpiece that he is, so proud of you can tell because he signed his name at the bottom the opposite corner of the let's say paint uh splash of paint is so there's a decapitated robot there's him and then pieces of another robot and yeah this is really interesting oh it's really cool i do like how the tint of the paper if you guys you know if you ever read a deadpool comic book you know that they usually uh, put his uh, word bubbles in like a yellowish color. And the paper of this uh, canvas, or this canvas, is pretty much the same color as his speech bubbles usually are. So really freaking cool. I love this. Honestly, if you were someone who was into like photography with pops or dolls or something... This would be really cool. Like, if you wanted to get a second of this to paint over this and put your own picture there for a different type of, again, toy photography, that would totally work. So, really stinking cute. I really love that. And then here is Deadpool. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, here, here he is squinting to make sure he's got everything lined up. He only has red paint on his easel or on his palette here. He's so got his little, uh, what's that thing called again? Beret, I think. He's got a sword on his back. Really stinking cute. Again, <clears throat> I have died down a lot on collecting the Deadpools. He doesn't have any of his nicer guns on him, just his two swords on the back. Um, but this one was a must for me. I absolutely had to have this one when I saw it. Uh, so this is going to go on with the rest of the Deadpool Pops that I still have. Absolutely freaking love it. I love both of these so damn much. Um, I don't have the original Martian Manhunter. I do have two, technically, of the Justice League Unlimited one because the first one I got was Trashed Box. So it's out of box and sits on the shelf and I got one to replace it and it's up there. On... Um, the actual pop display but really freaking cool let me know what you guys uh enjoyed from this one which one's your favorite honestly as much as i love jean and i do love jean i loved him in just league and just league unlimited i loved him in supergirl but this artist deadpool is amazing <laughs> oh my gosh i absolutely love this thing so let me know which one of these is your favorite guys and uh Thank you all so much for watching this video. Remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.